Chili is like fundamental to our whole culture. There's a sense of pride Jacob Torres has about New Mexico chili that you might say is out of this world. I'm an engineer, a mechanical engineer. I'm also a scientist and a horticulturalist. And somehow that mixes together to learn how to grow chili in crazy ways. Jacob is what you would call a technology farmer. This little contraption used in irrigating, he made with a 3D printer. And I'm still working on that, but that's what it's all about, is trying to incorporate technology into our traditional irrigation and the things that we do. But what you may find more surprising yeah, is that this unassuming that young man from Española, New Mexico, helped NASA grow chili in space. I was lucky to leave the Española Valley to go to school, and then school turned into a career. And that career just happened to be growing plants with NASA. He was part of a research project known as Plant Habitat 04. The mission? To see if crops could grow in microgravity for future long-duration space missions to the Moon and Mars. Astronauts would need fresh food that they would have to grow themselves in the limited confines of a space capsule with no sunlight and no bees to pollinate. Jacob, who holds degrees from NMSU and Purdue, was uniquely qualified in all the right areas. He was tasked with collecting seeds from all over the world. And to his surprise, it was the seeds from a chili that was developed here at NMSU that proved most suited for growing in space. It was a hybrid chili called New Mex Española Improved that combined a hatch sandia pepper with a pepper traditionally grown in Jacob's hometown of Española. A lot of peppers won't flower under LED lights, but there were these one group of peppers in the back and they were growing above the light. They didn't care. It turned out they were the New Mexico ones. And so the seeds were put on a SpaceX rocket and launched to the International Space Station, where over the course of 137 days, astronauts successfully grew and harvested both green and red New Mexico chili. They celebrated with a taco night and even began calling themselves Hatchstronauts. They just had like so much fun with it. Like it was really cool. Jacob's time at NASA is over and he's now back home in Española experimenting with other crops on his family's land. But he can't help smiling when he thinks of the heights he's reached with New Mexico's most beloved crop. I just got to accompany them. Um, and then I started wondering, well, why me? Like, how come I got to be the one to be here? I ultimately realized that I think it was my job to make sure they followed the traditions of New Mexico chili. And that means spelling chili with an E. And Jacob is keeping the traditions alive in other ways. He launched what's called the Moon Chili Challenge, where he sends out little packets of chili seeds to kids all over the world in hopes that they plant them and that they grow excited about farming and science. And you'll never guess where these chili seeds come from. They come from Fidel Martinez's farm in Chimayo, which is neighboring uh, Española. But anyway, Fidel Martinez just happens to be the gentleman that we featured in another recent bonus video of ours. So talk about two worlds colliding. Uh, anyway, Jacob gave me a few little packets that I can give away. You don't have to be a kid if you're interested. Just type chili seeds in the comment section below and if I draw your name I'll get a hold of you and I'll make sure that I send you one of these packets. Anyway I hope that you enjoyed this bonus video. I know it was a little different than what I typically uh, share but uh, definitely very educational or informative. Anyway hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.